Hey guys, welcome to YachtSearchMLS.com. This is a show where we show you new vessels that are in the market or have had recent price adjustments. So today we're gonna to take a look at two different horizons. These are both the Horizon Powercat 60s. So there's a 2015 that just had a price reduction to 2.3 million that's listed with Denison out in Marina Del Rey in California. And there's a 2014 that also had a price adjustment here in Florida. It's listed for 2.45 million up in Stewart by FG yachts so we're gonna go ahead and jump through this and uh, we're gonna show you some videos and pictures that were uploaded to the MLS I'm looking for VIP buyers on either of these boats and again you'll find any horizon that's out there if you go to bit.ly that's bit.ly slash horizon for sale or scan the QR code you'll be able to find these vessels and others online so let's go ahead and look at the YouTube video. And if you are in the market and want a complimentary complete yacht buying guide, you can also go to bit.ly, that's bit.ly slash yacht buyers guide. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we will check out these vessels here. Okay, so some really good photography. This is the uh, 2015 and then uh, the 2014. We're gonna go ahead and show a video on the 2014 and run through the specs and then we'll go back to uh, the pictures on that. So real quick on this video here. Okay, so what we're seeing now is the uh, 2014. And again, this vessel is located in Stewart, Florida. She's priced at $2.45 million and she is a 60 foot Horizon Power Cat. So a few things that jump out at me on this is she's powered by uh, Caterpillar engines and she will get an impressive 24 knot top speed and she has an efficient cruising speed at 19 knots. She has a length overall at 60 feet and actually 60.75 feet, so almost 61 feet. She has a beam of 24 and a half feet and a draft just under 4.9 feet. So she has a fresh water capability of 400 gallons and it does have a water maker on it that was recently serviced. She has a fuel tank with a thousand gallons of diesel and she has a nice holding tank with a hundred gallons there. So looking over, you know, you'll really get a feeling for the spaciousness of this boat. Obviously starboard side, you've got the galley there. And over on the port side, you have a nice U-shaped settee, beautiful sliding doors. I really love the stainless steel work on the sliding doors here. And you'll see an entertainment center and a little bar area there as well. So this is moving forward. So this is your master here. And obviously you've got the uh, ensuite with the master down in the hall, very attractive tile work on that. And then this is showing you one of the guest staterooms. Nice athwart ship bunks there. There's a third stateroom. And there's four staterooms on this boat total. We're gonna go up to the Sky Lounge next and look at this area here, beautiful. Nice enclosed upper salon area. Again, nice stainless steel work. What a wonderful vessel. So. I really think this is a hot commodity. That's a day head there up in the Sky Lounge. And you'll see the nice area to have the dinghy up and protected. So I'm really impressed with how the vessel can cruise at 19 knots with the top speed of 24 knots. Just beautiful. And those really nice sun pads up front. So if you wanted to take this boat and go and explore the Bahamas, you know, either one of these would be a beautiful option for that. Or if you're based in California, going to uh, Catalina would certainly be attractive. Let's go ahead and check out the video for the 2014, sorry, the 2015 next. So we're gonna look through this here. And let me go through some specs on this vessel as well. Okay, so this 2015, which is located in California, has a Cummins power plant. So these are also very popular engines. Those are the QSM 11s. These have 715 horsepower each. So this vessel has low hours on it, only about a thousand hours on it. And these motors are mounted in a V drive. So with V drive propulsion. 
So very similar between the 2014 that we just looked at and this 2015. One thing that you're gonna notice which is different is the Sky Lounge is enclosed on the 2014, but this has an open Sky Lounge. So looking at the back here again, beautiful cockpit area there in the back, lovely L-shaped settee. It looks like it's got a high-low table on it. So this is really great here. A nice bar area set up, a nice grill set up. So this one would be really awesome if you're hanging out. Davit system there. Looks like upgraded electronics. Does have a bow thruster on it. Nice stairs there to go up to the hardtop if you need to service anything. So all of these just really elegant use of space and a lot of catamaran for the money. We're gonna go ahead and jump through some photos here. Okay, so we're gonna go through the photos on the 2015, which is the one we just saw in California. Nice port profile there. And I love how they've got that surfboard rack on both the port and starboard side. So for, for paddle boards, kayaks, or surfboards, this is really nice. So there's some excellent photography. Let's see if we can jump ahead to the interior. Okay, so we're here in the cockpit area of the boat. Nice cushions there outdoor TV and there's the stairs up to the front. This is up in the flybridge area. Lovely use of space. And again, there's that grill for grilling out. It's like there's storage in the bow area. Okay, and this one has on the uh, port side, a U-shaped settee area. And port aft, this has a uh, planning station there. Your galley is over on the starboard side. Nice big refrigerator there. Four bar stools. And this is the forward cabin. So this is the on-deck master. So really nice arrangement and layout with this to get a full beam master. And then this has, similar to the other one, has a pretty cool surfboard shower design. And this is one of the guest staterooms here. So this is four cabins, three heads on this vessel as well. It looks like this one's indicating 1,634 gallons for the diesel. So two cabins with singles. Okay, so there's really nice uh, washer dryer there, electrical panels, easy access. And you see you got really great engine room access in this because they did the V-Drive. Uh, you have a lot of space to get down there. And then this will have two generators as well. You get redundant generators. And there's a water maker. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the first cat again and take a look through the photos there. So this is the 2014, which is located in Stewart, Florida. So on this, I like it's got the cushions the whole way across. And you've got a nice uh, fold up there for some uh, sun protection. It's like you've got some solar that was added to this vessel. And again, this one on the 2014, having that enclosed bridge is a nice option. There's the AB tender with outboard. like nice teak work on this. Okay, 
Okay, so the interior has a very similar layout. On the starboard side, you've got the galley. It looks to be port aft as more of an entertainment area on this one. On the other one, it had a planning area there. Okay, there's the master. So on deck master there, beautiful. There's a really cool surfboard shower that I like. I love the colors in this one. Okay, and this is up in the enclosed area for that helm. So this would be good to have the enclosed helm for those hot days if you are in Florida or the Bahamas and you wanna get out of the weather or for extended cruising. This is definitely a nice setup there to have that enclosure. And then it does have the sliding doors there that would go to uh, the after air of the deck there. All right, nice access to the electronics. And there's the athwart ship berth there. And then there's the cabin with the two singles and another cabin. Uh, it looks like they've got the filler cushion in there. Nice hardware. There's your general deck plan and layout. Okay, so this will show where the hulls are utilized, where yours with the singles, you have the midship in both the port and starboard, and you have dedicated access there. And then you see where you have a uh, forward is the athwart ship berth. So that's starboard forward. Really cool layout. On behalf of myself, Tony, and the rest of the team, thank you so much for checking out the 2015 and 2014 Horizon Powercats. If you're in the market for a boat like this, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we do have additional information on every Horizon at bit.ly, that's bit.ly slash horizon for sale. So let us know your thoughts and comments on these two vessels and be on the lookout for additional episodes of Yacht Search MLS. And as always, you can find us at yachtsearchmls.com. For additional information, please feel free to email me at ts at flyachtpro.com. Also, please feel free to text me at 404-805-9819.